hope everyone's doing good. Out here just buttoning up a few things in the car. I spent a lot of time on the weekend trying to uh, maximize the uh, travel that I've got. <laughs> uh, I don't have a ton. My car is basically uh, all stock style front suspension stuff. I don't have any long travel stuff on the car. As far as racing no prep goes, um, I think that makes it uh, a bit of a challenge. I've basically got uh, stock length shock, TRZ control arms. I got half inch longer upper ball joints and I've just kind of tried to maximize what I've got. Plan being when I swap out the subframe in the winter, I'm gonna build some kind of long travel setup for it. This is uh, what I'm dealing with and uh, just gotta make the best of it. So I've been watching videos of the car and everything. It really could benefit from a little more travel, I think. As soon as the front gets pretty well topped out, I don't know if I'm just not getting enough power in uh, right in the right spot there or what as soon as the front pretty much tops out it starts coming back down gets wheel speed it's not over by any means but uh it's definitely being a bit of a challenge to uh, manage that so i got a couple things that i messed with on the weekend just trying to get a little more out of it basically everything i tried uh nothing would work for me um i've already kind of optimized what i've got i tried adding in some uh, one inch longer ball joints upper ball joints that i've got try and pick up a half an inch there but uh, it gave it a little too much positive camber. I'm pretty much out of adjustment on the lower control arms and I've got a big stack of shims up top already. Uh, so I just couldn't pull it back in enough. Tried swapping out some coil springs, trying to maybe lower the front a little bit just to uh, add a little more extension, give it a little more time to uh, get up. That didn't pan out for me either. Basically came down to, I had to uh, modify my upper mount for the shock so I could lower the mount down a little bit. For where the car is sitting ride height wise, it had a lot of uh, compression. I was able to lower the front, lower the top mount down and uh, kind of change that compression into extension. And while I was trying to make the one inch upper ball joint work, I was looking at the uh, those new ball joint spacers uh, that Nicky Bobby dude sells. When I was looking at them, I noticed that he's bolting the ball joints in from the bottom, not from the top. So I was able to switch my uh, ball joint around and picked up probably a good quarter to three of an inch right there. So let me show you guys what I did. So I got the alignment all done, everything now, but uh, I was able to lower that mount down. I went about three quarters of an inch. So uh, that gave me about three quarter inch of travel. Uh, which I didn't have before. My shocks were pretty much the limiting factor to uh, my extension problems. And the ball joints normally uh, bolt in from up top this way. Uh, bolted them up from the bottom. I uh, used some uh, good bolts with some heavy duty washers there. So I don't think that that's gonna be any problem for me. And uh, just between lowering the shock mount down, uh, the ball joint, and a little messing around on the tie rod. I uh, had to make a little spacer there uh, just so I could get a little more angle out of the tie rod. I did order some high uh, misalignment himes that I was gonna put in there this weekend, but uh, I screwed that up too and uh, somehow ordered the wrong ones. So I ended up making these work. It actually worked out pretty good. I picked up three quarters of an inch of travel uh, just between the ball joints and uh, changing the shock around a little bit. I got the alignment all done. It's just as good as it was before. Took it for a little drive. Seems to drive nice. So I think I'm uh, definitely ready to try it out. The longer upper ball joints just kind of move the uh, upper control arm up more so that it's got more room to sweep down. That's kind of a neat little trick that I saw last year. And uh, like I say, these are half inch longer. It actually works really well for giving you uh, a little more stroke on the, this for this kind of setup. So I know it's not a lot. It's uh, definitely not a long travel setup. Basically from ride height before I had uh, three and three quarter inches of uh, extension or body rise that the, that the front end could come up. The way I've got it right now is from ride height, it's got four and a half inches. So uh, it's a pretty big gain, I think. I, I honestly thought the car had more uh, front end travel before the wheels came off the ground. I actually thought it had four to four and a half inches before, but uh, just the way the ride head is and everything right now, it's how it's stacked up. So I definitely think this is going to help and I'm excited to uh, give it a try. So 
Uh, there is a race this weekend that I'm trying to go to. Uh, try it out this Saturday. I'll make a video and uh, we'll see if it made any difference or not. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Throw a comment up there if you got it. Have a good one, guys.